As we move further away from a candle, the light diminishes or decreases, so does the heat. We call this the inverse square law. The PASCO Optics Light Source is part of a Dynamics Track Optics Kit. The light itself has a cost of $119 to replace. Please do not bump into it with your elbow or knock it off the track. If it is damaged in any way, the entire lab setup cannot be used, as we would have to replace the light source. Thank you for your caution. This black box is the light source for the PASCO Optics track. Make sure that when the light is turned on, you have the pinhole facing the screen. The legs should be located at the 116 mark using the tape measure on the optics track. Do not aim this side of the optics light source toward the screen. This is the wrong side. Please do not use this for the lab. This will be used for a different lab later in the semester. The screen is at 112 centimeters using the tape measure provided with the PASCO optics bench. We're going to make sure that our ruler is on the centimeter side. Please make sure that you measure the diameter, that you are not above or below the diameter. It would appear that we are between 2.1 and 2.2. You'll have to make a judgment call as to what the proper diameter is. Then you will move the screen. The screen will be moved to 110 centimeters for our next reading. The diameter has changed. Again, you will get the diameter of each light source on the screen until you've completed the lab. The distance from the light source is found by taking 116 centimeters minus 112 for an answer of 4. The diameter will be measured with your centimeter ruler on the screen. The radius is the diameter divided by 2. A is pi r squared, however, since we're reporting it in pi units, you will not need to multiply by 3.14. The intensity is the inverse of the previous column, or it is the inverse of A, or r squared.